The strategy cards are an important part of the quick practice in second grade. Now, ideally, these were created so that students would have their own set of yellow Math Mountain cards. They come into math that day, and they would sit down at their seat and start to quiz themselves on the different partners for the Math Mountains. They would use their thumb instead of this blue rectangle to cover up something that day. So maybe the first time through the pile, they would cover up all the totals. Um, maybe the second time through the pile, they would cover up the right unknown partner. So either way, they would have these physically in front of them and they would sort them. And the idea is that they would sort them into uh, don't know, know slowly, and know quickly. So I gave you a mat that looks like this. So it's the same idea, know quickly, know with a strategy, don't know yet. So students would take their cards and they would sort them based on how, when they covered up with the thumb, how that went. Now, you can also do it remotely when you assign a slide like this, like students sort the cards. Okay, did you know it quickly? Know with the strategy, don't know yet. These ones don't have anything covered up, so that will be another set that you'll get at a later time. But for quick practice, my actual suggestion is that you have students or yourself, you as student leader, would go and cover up with these rectangles something like the totals for today. Together, you would say, boys and girls, one plus three equals, think about it, class four. You'd move the rectangle back to the pile. Eight plus one equals class nine. And you would go through the first set of cards. Then you could have a conversation about what is the same, what's different about these cards. Like, what are they noticing? And they should notice these are all plus ones or plus zeros. As you go through the um, different lessons, you're going to see that the cards start getting more complicated or we start adding things, like adding twos, doubles, so on and so forth. The idea would be they would have to pass this first slide before they went to the next slide. But what I prefer to do versus even having students come in and just practice independently is I prefer to put a couple under my document camera, have students do more of a number talk with them or practice how and show them how to use these strategy cards. And then maybe they could do the second two rows independently. Remember, if you're teaching remotely, you could just assign this slide to each student and each student would be practicing. The next time through, they would cover up maybe something else like the unknown partner on the right. And you would go through the same process. So we're trying to build automaticity with these skills. When you are done with the Math Mountains that are yellow, then students can go into the Math Mountain cards that are blue, which have teen totals. This is going to utilize the counting on strategy, it'll utilize doubles, and it will utilize the make 10 strategy. So again, students are building automaticity with some of these strategies. The make a 10 cards, or the math mountain cards, and the, um, the blue ones and the yellow ones, you can always use with these strategy mats. The other way they have strategy mats, and all of them are in a file for you, is you can do no quickly, no a strategy, don't know yet. You could download this as a PDF and students would have a physical strategy mat. But I also gave you the strategy mat where students sort the cards based on the type of a fact it is. Now, some of these are debatable. Let's look at this one. This one could um, be five plus four, right, equals, and so this one actually would just only fall under either the no quickly or counting on. But let's look at, see if we get another one here. This would be a no quickly. I just know that one. Oh, here's a doubles. It would go there. Um, so you start to get some of these other cards. I'm looking for one that would be a make a 10. So you'll have a make a 10 in here. You might have um, our make 10, make a 10 when you get to the blue cards. So none of the yellow cards would fall under the make 10 yet, but that would be another strategy. Oftentimes, students will resort to counting on or counting up with fingers because it's the fastest known strategy for them. Instead, if you just have them sort cards, they'll get better at identifying when they see that card, what do I know about those numbers? Either do I just know it, that it's nine, or do I also know of a sophisticated strategy? Like, I don't know it, but I could use counting on for this strategy, and then it would go here. So they could quiz themselves then on the cards that are not in the note quickly. So let's practice all the counting on cards and see if we can build automaticity.